Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. This is the second part of the Angular 17 Routing for Beginners tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous video, click on the i button to watch it first. Then come back to view this video. In this video, you will learn how to create nested roots and display the nested components. Nested roots are roots within other roots. Nested roots are also called as child roots. Before we start, let's see the demo. On the About page, there are two links, Company and Employees. If we click on the Company link, it will display the Company component. Here you can see that the URL is about slash company, where about is the parent root and company is the child root. Active link is displayed under the about link, which is the parent root. Here is the link to go back to the about component. If we click on the employees link, it will display the employees component. You can see that the URL is about slash employees, where about is the parent root and employees is the child root. Active link is displayed under the about link, which is the parent root. Here is the link to go back to the about component. First, we will create two components called company and employees. Open your terminal and type the command ng space g space c space company space dash dash skip dash tests. This command will create company.component.css, company.component.html and company.component.ts files inside app slash company folder. It will not create spec.ts test file. Now, type the command ng space g space c space employees space dash dash skip dash tests. This command will create employees.component.css employees.component.html and employees.component.ts files inside app slash employees folder. It will not create spec.ts test file. Here, we will create child roots for the about root. After the about root, add path property. This root is the child root of the about path, so in path property, add about. Now add children property and assign an array. In this array, we can add the child roots for the about root, which is the parent root. Let's add first child root for the about parent root. In the path property, add company. In the title property, add a title. In the component property, add company component and import the component. We have created the first child root called company. For this child root the parent root is the about root. Open about.component.html file. We will place the child router link inside this div tag. Open home.component.html file. Copy this code. Now, go back to about.component.html file. Paste the code here. In the router link, add the path company. Type the command ng serve to run the app.
In your browser, enter the URL, localhost colon 4200. Now, click on the About link. Click on the Company button and you will see the company component. In the URL, you can see the root path is about slash company, where about is parent and company is the child. Now, let's add another child root employees. In the path property, add employees. In the title property, add a title. In the component property, add employees component and import the component. Now, open about.component.html file and add employees button with router link employees. Remove MX Auto from both the buttons. Click on the About link and you will see two buttons, Company and Employees. Click on the Company button and you will see the Company component. Now, click on the Employees button and you will see the Employees component. In the URL, you can see the root path is about slash employees, where about is parent and employees is the child. Let's display the active link under the parent root link about. Open navbar.component.html file. From about router link, remove router link options. You can see that now the active link is displayed under the About Router link. Click on the Employees button, and here you can see the page title and the active link is displayed under the About Router link. Click on the Company button, and here also you can see the page title and the active link is displayed under the About Router link. Now, open the company and employees HTML files and add some HTML content to both files. In the employees.component.html file I have added HTML template. In the company.component.html file I have also added HTML template. Here, add a back button with router link equals slash about to go back to the about page. Open employees.component.html file and here also add a back button with router link equals slash about to go back to the about page. Open employees.component.ts file and add router link in the imports array and import it. Now, open company.component.ts file and add router link in the imports array and import it. Open about.component.ts file and add router link in the imports array and import it. Click on the About link. Click on the Company button. You can see the Company page. Here you can see the page title. Here the root path is about slash company, where about is the parent and company is the child. 
the active link is displayed under the About link. Click on the Back button and you will be redirected to the About page. The active link is displayed under the About link. Click on the Employees button. You can see the Employees page. Here you can see the page title and active link. Here the root path is about slash employees, where about is the parent and employees is the child. Click on the back button to go back to the about page. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.